the Australian cattle dog, the Australian shepherd, the bearded collie, the Belgian shepherd dog, Grandel, and the Belgian shepherd dog, Lacanoir, the Belgian shepherd dog, Malinois, and finally the Belgian shepherd dog, Turveren. Now we have the Border Collie. The Briard. The Rough Collie. The Smooth Collie. The Estrella Mounted Dog. The Finnish Lapland, the German Shepherd Dog Alsatian, the Hungarian Kubas, and the Hungarian Puli, the Commodore, the Lancashire Healer. The Maremma Sheepdog. The Norwegian Buhund. The Old English Sheepdog. The Polish Lowland Sheepdog. The Pyrenean Mountain Dog. The Pyrenean Sheepdog. The Samoyed. The Shetland Sheepdog. The Swedish Valhund. The Welsh Corgi Cardigan. I'm bringing up the rear the Welsh Corgi Pembroke. <laughs> These are the dogs for the Pascal Group, and I now hand you over to Graham Hill. Thank you, Bob. Well, here we are at the second of our group to be judged here at Crufts 2007 on the second day, the Pastoral Group, one of the largest of our groups. And there are 30 pastoral breeds represented here in the ring tonight. The finalists of an entry of 3,592 entries made by 3,103 exhibits. All entries in the pastoral group here at Crafts 2007. The pastoral group is made up of breeds related to the farming of sheep or cattle and are in the main used for herding and or protecting flocks of sheep or herds of cattle. Herding dogs have been used since the very early days of man's close association with dogs. And here we see the product of that breeding. And the dogs are represented in our pastoral group. Here in the pastoral group ring you can see the variety of breeds of varying sizes, shapes and differing coats, all to suit their job. Also their terrain and climate where they carry out their duties. And the first of our pastoral breeds to be seen is the Anatolian Shepherd Dog. Mrs. Anne Arch was the breed judge and there was an entry of 40 from which she selected this male as best of breed exhibit number 7984. The Anatolian Shepherd Dog whose natural homeland is Turkey is prized for his faithful devotion to his role as a flock guard. He's a tall dog and of mastiff type and pre presents an awesome sight to any marauder, whether it be wolf or man. This breed, which requires sensible exercise, 
stands up to variations of weather extremely well. That's the best of breed Anatolian Shepherd Dog, exhibit number 7984. And now we have the Australian Cattle Dog. This is P. Chetwind was the breed judge. There was an overall breed entry of 48, from which this male was selected best of breed, exhibit number 8017. The Australian Cattle Dog is the result of six decades of crossbreeding. Ancestral stock includes the Dingo, the Blue Merle Smooth Collie, the Dalmatian, and possibly the Bull Terrier. This is a breed greatly prized in his native Australia for his working ability. The Australian cattle dog is used for the control and driving of cattle in all environments. And is also known as the Australian healer. That's the best of breed Australian cattle dog, 8017. And next to be seen by Mr Mallard is the Australian shepherd. Mr. H. Vandenberg was the breed judge. There was a breed entry of 133. And from that entry, he selected this male as best of breed. Exhibit number 30008. Surprisingly enough, the Australian Shepherd does not originate in Australia. The breed is a product of the United States of America. His origins go back to the Basque Spanish sheepdogs. In the latter part of the 19th century, Basque shepherds emigrated to Australia, taking their blue dogs with them. And when in turn they went to the Americas, the dogs travelled as well and became very popular. The Americans then naming them the Australian Shepherd. And here we see the best of breed Australian Shepherd, exhibit number 30008. And now we have the Bearded Collie. There was an overall breed entry of 411, and therefore it was necessary to have two, ju two judges, one for males, Mr. J. Bispam, and bitches, Mrs. M. Harkin. They selected this bitches best to breed, exhibit number 8357. The Bearded Collie is a breed that has a long association with Scotland and Northern England, where he was bred for herding sheep. The Beardy, as the breed is affectionately known, is a hardy dog with a lovable temperament and is ideally, ideally suited to country life. The Bearded Collie has a double weather-resistant coat and an active nature, a very happy dog, neither timid nor aggressive, and is ready to join in any activity. That's the best of breed bearded collie, exhibit number 8357. And now we have the first of the Belgian shepherd dog varieties, the Groenendale. The breed was judged by Mrs. J.M. Andrews, and there was a breed entry of 109, from which she selected this bitch for best of breed. Her exhibit number is 8533. The Belgian Shepherd Dog comes in four varieties. This is the first of those varieties, the Groenendale. The name of each variety refers to the geographical area of origin within Belgium, their native country. The breed is used in Belgium as a sheepdog. The Belgian Shepherd Dog dates back to the Middle Ages, but began to separate into the four varieties around 1891. The Belgian Shepherd Dog is an active breed, both physical and mental, and requires adequate exercise and interesting things to keep him occupied. That's the best of breed Belgian Shepherd Dog, Groenendale, exhibit number 8533. And now we have the Belgian Shepherd Dog, Lacanoir. Mr. P. England was the breed judge. There was an entry of five, and this male was selected best of breed, 8586. This is one of the Belgian Shepherd Dog varieties that doesn't have challenge certificates on offer. This is the rarest of the Belgian Shepherd Dog varieties in the United Kingdom. 
The breed has a pretty short, wiry type of coat, which is reddish form. With the exception of coat colour, texture and length, the physical characteristics of the Belgian Shepherd Dog are identical between the varieties. As with the other varieties, the Lacan Noir is described as both sheepdog and guard. Similar to the neighbouring rough-haired Dutch Shepherd, the breed was first recognised in 1897. Thus the best of breed Belgian Shepherd dog Lacan Noir, exhibit number 8586. And now we come to the third of the varieties, the Belgian Shepherd dog Malin Noir. Mr P England judged the breed. There was an entry of 37, and this bitch was selected best of breed. 8590 is her exhibit number. The Malinois takes its name from the Malinais in the country of origin, Belgium. This var variety again has its own individual coat type. The Malinois possesses a shortish, firm textured coat, which may be red, fawn, or grey with a black overlay. The Belgian Shepherd Dog Malinois was the first of the Belgian Shepherds to establish a breed type. And the Malinois became the gauge by which other Belgian Shepherd Dogs were judged. That's the best of breed, Belgian Shepherd Dog Malinois, exhibit number 8590. And now the fourth of the Belgian Shepherd Dog varieties we see here is the Turveron. The breed was judged by Mrs. B. Simpson. There was a breed entry of 118, and this male was selected best of breed, and his exhibit number is 8717. This is the most popular of the variety, most rapidly increasing in number within the United Kingdom. The Belgian Shepherd Dog Turveron is, in looks and temperament, the closest to the Gronendale. The Turveron has the same range of colouring as the Malinois, but its outer coat is long, straight and abundant. All the varieties are described as having fine proportions and proud head carriage, conveying an impression of graceful strength. This description, I think, really does apply to the Turveron. This is the best of breed Belgian Shepherd Dog Turveron, 8717. Now we see the breed with the largest of the entries in the pastoral group, the Border Collie. There were 480 entries in the breed, and dogs were judged by Mr. T. Collier and bitches by Mrs. J. Gregory. This bitch was selected best of breed, and her exhibit number is 9076. Although shepherds in the hilly Scottish borders used collies for many years, this breed was not given its present name until 1915. The Border Collie is a highly intelligent dog who has an inborn instinct to work. Still the most popular working sheepdog in Great Britain and Ireland, the Border Collie can make an affectionate but difficult pet especially in the city. That's the best of breed Border Collie, 9148. And here we have the best of breed Briard. There were 101 entries in the breed today, and Mrs. E. Pitt, who was the breed judge, selected this bitch as best of breed. Her exhibit number is 9148. The Briard originates from the province of Brie in France and has a dual role as a guard against marauding predators as well as a sheep herder. The breed has also been occasionally employed as a pack dog. This among other general duties. His dry goat-like coat with its moustache, beard and eyebrows requires regular and thorough grooming if it if it's not become a mess. The breed, this breed retains dew claws on its back legs.
the Briard is an extrovert, loving animal and loves to engage in games which can turn rough but never nasty. That's the best of breed Briard, exhibit number 9148. And now we move on to the Rough Collie. This one is a bitch, exhibit number 9242. The breed was judged today by Mrs. P. Wilkinson and Mr. G. Duffield from an entry of 347. This best of breed was selected by our group judge for best of breed, as our judges couldn't, couldn't agree on their best of breed. We move on now to the Smooth Collie. The breed was judged by Mrs. Ann Arch, and from an entry of 84, she selected this bitch for best of breed, exhibit number 9567. The Smooth Collie can trace its roots back to a tricolored puppy named Trefoil, who was born in 1873. The Smooth Collie, in lots of ways, is the same as the Rough Collie, but with the exception of coat length. The Smooth Collie has a short and flat coat, with a harsh te texture on a dense undercoat. Both rough and smooth collie breed standards call for a gay, friendly disposition without a trace of nervousness or aggression. The breed makes a good companion and is suited for a life in the country or city. That's the smooth collie best of breed, exhibit number 9567. Now we have the Estrella Mountain Dog. The breed was judged by Mr. H. Vandenberg. There was a breed entry of 39. And this bitch was selected best of breed. Her exhibit number is 9614. The Estrella Mountain Dog has been developed as a flock guarding dog and was used in the Estrella Mountain Range in the central part of Portugal. He's a relation of the shepherd dogs, which can be found anywhere from Asia to the shores of the Atlantic. This is a sturdy and well-built well dog, and is exceptionally good with children. This breed is easily trainable in the basics of good canine, canine behavior, but does not consider that retrieving is any part of a dog's normal way of life is easy to groom and easy to feed and having an unfatty appetite. That's the best of breed Astrella Mounting Dog, exhibit number 9614. And now we have the Finnish Laphund. This was another breed judged today by Mrs. P. Chetwind. And there was a breed entry of 54. And this male was selected best of breed, exhibit number 9674. The historic herding dog of the Samai people, originating in, the Finland, in Finland around 1600. This breed is smaller than its descendant, the Lapland dog, and was originally used to herd reindeer. Today it usually herds sheep or cattle. The Finnish Lapland is a Spitz type and his thick jacket comes in all manner of colours and it enables him to cope with the harsh climate of, the, of Lapland. He enjoys family life and especially the company of children. Fortunately he is not quite as vocal as some members of the Spitz family. That's the best of breed Finnish Lapland, exhibit number 9674. And now we see the best of breed German Shepherd Dog. Mr. E. Broadhurst was the breed judge. There was a breed entry of 144, and this male was selected best of breed. His exhibit number is 9753. The German Shepherd Dog is arguably the most popular breed, not only in the United Kingdom, but worldwide. The Shepherd, as the breed is affectionately known, was founded at the end of the 1800s. The breed has been used as a herding dog, developed as a police and military dog, and rates with the best as a guide dog for the blind. He's a highly intelligent, he's creative, 
and needs to be kept occupied if he's not to become bored and mischievous. Today you will only see short-coated examples of the breed in the show ring, but until 1950, both long-haired and wire-haired varieties were exhibited. But here we see the best of breed German Shepherd Dog, exhibit number 9753. And next we have the Hungarian Kuvash. The breed was judged by Mr. H. Vandenberg. This bitch was selected best of breed and her exhibit number is 9814. This breed was first mentioned as a breed in the 1600s. The Kuvash is an independent, powerful dog used for the protection of flocks of livestock in Hungary by nomadic herdsmen. The breed has also been adapted to become a guarding dog for people and property. His medium length white wavy coat is relatively easy to groom and is thick enough to withstand extremes of wintry weather. This breed is happy to live as a family member within the home, but is not good if he has to be fenced in because he will patrol that territory, not as a breed but for a casual owner, this one. That's the best of breed Hungarian Kuvash. Exhibit number 9812. And now we move on to the Hungarian Puli. There, were, there was a breed entry of 57. Miss M. Scrutton was the breed judge. And she selected this bitch as best of breed. Exhibit number 9827. There is no mistaking the Hungarian Puli, although the casual observer may well be confused as to which way this dog is heading. The Puli was probably brought to Hungary by the Magyars. Today's Puli comes mainly from a breeding program carried out this century. The most noticeable feature of this breed is the corded coat. This corded coat is so important to keep him warm and dry from the intense weather while he carries out his duties as a herder for the flocks of sheep in his native Hungary. The Hungarian Puli has a friendly disposition and consequently is highly companionable. He does, have, however, demand a fair share of exercise. That's the best of breed Hungarian Puli, exhibit number 9827. And next we see the best of breed, Commodore. The breed was judged by Mr. H. Vandenberg. And from an entry of 15, he selected this bitch as best of breed. Exhibit number 9878. The Commodore is another breed which hails from Hungary, where he's used as a guarding dog for the herds and flocks on the farm. First mentioned by breed name in the 1544, it was not until around 1910 that the Commodore was firmly established as a modern breed. The Commodore is not a, a dog that demands a great deal of food. He has an easy-going attitude to exercise. He's not a dog to be trifled with in carrying out his duties as a guard with the utmost efficiency. That's the Breast of Breed Commodore, exhibit number 9878. And now we move to the table where we see the smallest of our pastoral group Best of Breeds, the Lancashire Healer. Miss J. Lanning was the breed judge. There was a breed entry of 101. And this bitch was selected Best of Breed. Exhibit number 9928. This little fella originates from the time when cattle were herded and driven from Wales by corgis to be sold at markets in the Ormskirk area of Lancashire. And when the Welsh herder met the local Manchester Terrier, 
the Lancashire healer is said to have been the result. Certainly the breed is found in the Lancashire area and was bred there as long ago as the 1600s, but became extinct in the late 1800s. It was regenerated in the 1960s. This is an intelligent, eager to please breed. The best of breed Lancashire healer, exhibit number 9928. And here we see the best of breed Marema Sheepdog. The breed was judged by Mrs. J. Downs. There was a breed entry of 18, from which this male was selected best of breed, exhibit number 9974. This is a breed still used in Italy to guard the shepherd flocks. He's named after the plains of Marema, which have been used for centuries by shepherds and farmers as grazing land. Is believed to be a descendant of the white working dogs of the Magyars. The Marema sheepdog first appeared in Britain around 1872, but the breed was still relatively rare until 1976. It's around this time that efforts were made to import good stock and produce the breed that we know it today. This is a highly intelligent breed with a highly developed guarding instinct. It's the best of breed Marema Sheepdog, exhibit number 9974. And now we move on to the Norwegian, Norwegian Buhund. There was a breed entry of 54. This male was selected as best of breed by the breed judge, Mrs. C. Ricks, and his exhibit number is 9986. The Norwegian bull, Buhund was originally used to pull sleds and as a hunter companion. It now serves as a herder, a guard dog and a companion. The no Norwegian Buhund is a typical Spitz with his pointed face and erect ears. Used as an alert guard and efficient herder in his native Norway. The Buhund is one of the earliest known Nordic herding dogs. Bu in Norwegian means homestead, and so the Buhund is the dog found on the homestead or farm. His temperament is one of friendly reserve. That's the best of breed Norwegian Buhund, exhibit number 9986. And now we move on to one of the other most recognized breeds in the pastoral group, the Old English Sheepdog. There was a breed entry of 166 from which Mr. R. Wilkinson, the breed judge, selected this male as best of breed and his exhibit number is 10041. The Old English Sheepdog probably traces its origins back to continental sheepdogs such as the Briard. Selective breeding began in the 1800s. This breed is regarded as a native British breed and is often affectionately known as the bobtail. The Old English Sheepdog's profuse coat is a distinctive feature of the breed. It is weather resistant but does need plenty of time and patience for grooming by its owner. The Old English Sheepdog is a country dog. And here we see the best of breed Old English Sheepdog, exhibit number 10041. And moving on, we have, now have the best of breed Polish Lowland Sheepdog. Mrs. W. Collins was the breed judge. There was a breed entry of 63, and this male was selected best of breed, exhibit number 10187. As this breed name implies the breed origi originally comes from Poland where it's affectionately known as the Puss. It is said that the breed originally came to Britain in the 16th century when sailors from Gdansk exchanged their dogs for other animals at their Scottish ports of call. The, the Polish Lowland Sheepdog has a long history and derives from the Hungarian Puli and native long-coated herding dogs of Poland. 
He's been used as a herding dog since the 1500s. That's the best of breed Polish loan and sheepdog, exhibit number 10187. And next to be seen by Mr. Mallard is the Pyrenean Mountain Dog. Miss P. Bayliss was the breed judge. There was a breed entry of 106. And this male was selected as best of breed. Exhibit number 10260. The breed's home is in the Pyrenean Mountain Range in France, where he is known as the Great Pyrenees. Once used as a guard dog, they have been protecting flocks in France for centuries. Dogs of their type predate even the Bronze Age and are said to have been discovered by the French and the French nobility before the Revolution. Apparently, Louis XIV named the breed the Royal Dog of France. As recently as the Second World War, the Pyrenees carried messages and parcels for the French troops. Double dew claws on the back legs are a breed characteristic. He has a very gentle side to his nature and is affectionate and tolerant with children. That's the best of breed Pyrenean Mountain Dog, 10260. Now we come to one of the new breeds to be seen at Crufts, the Pyrenean Sheepdog. Mr. J. Sanchez judged the breed and this male was selected best of breed and his exhibit number is 10343. This is an energetic small sheepdog which was selected to herd large flocks of sheep in rural areas. The breed originated in France and was developed in the rural communities in and around the Pyrenees to suit the needs of mountain shepherds. The breed worked in con conjunction with the P Pyrenean Mountain Dog. The sheepdog was used for herding sheep, while the mountain dog guarded the flocks from wolves. The Pyrenean Sheepdog was first registered with our Kennel Club in 1988. The Pyrenean Sheepdog exists in long-haired, goat-haired and smooth-haired forms. It's the best of breed Pyrenean Sheepdog, exhibit number 10343. And now we see the best of breed Samoyed. Mrs. A. Cowthera Purdy was the breed judge. There was a breed entry of 146. And this male was selected best of breed, exhibit number 10464. The breed is truly the canine equivalent of the laughing cavalier. And as the breed standard requires, he has a smiling expression. So Samoyed is developed from dogs used for sledding by two nomadic tribes in north central Siberia. It was not intru introduced into the West until 1889. This breed's Arctic, Arctic ancestry, as a working dog, has developed his thick, luxuriant coat. Known affectionately as the Sami, he's good-natured, alert, intelligent, and full of action. That's the best of breed Samoyed, exhibit number 10464. And here we have the best of breed Shetland Sheepdog. Another of our breeds in the pastoral group with a large entry, an entry of 404, necessitating two judges. Dogs by, were judged by Mrs. M. Bathurst and bitches by Mrs. S. McIntosh. This male was selected best of breed, exhibit number 10697. This is a breed that originates from the Shetland Islands in the northeast of Scotland, an area that lays claim to a number of animals with a small stature. This breed may be the result of crossing imported rough collies with dogs from the Scottish Shetland Islands. Sometimes called the Sheltie, this is, an affection in, this is an affectionate, intelligent, and particularly active breed. It was a Shetlander called Logie who standardized the breed for the show ring, and it was first entered at Crufts in 1906, where it was shown as a miniature collie. 
That's the best of breed Shetland Sheepdog 10697. And now on the table we have the best of breed Swedish Valhund. Mr. J. Bayliss was the breed judge. There was a breed entry of 45. And this male was selected best of breed. Exhibit number 10851. The, Val the Valhund is also called the Swedish cattle dog, identifying both his country of origin and his purpose. In shape and temperament, this breed is similar to the Pembroke Welsh Corgi. It is likely that this multi-purpose drover, watchdog and ratter arrived in Scandinavia with Vikings, who had previously settled in Pembrokeshire in Wales. The breed nearly disappeared in the, in the 1930s, but was saved and recognised by the Swedish Kennel Club in 1948. The breed was recognised in Britain in 1984. He's a very active and good guard from the point of view of giving warning to any approaching stranger. But he does have a friendly, cheerful disposition and is always ready for exercise. That's the best of breed Swedish Valhund, exhibit number 10851. And now we have the first of the Welsh Corgis, the Cardigan Welsh Corgi. Ms. N. Mortimer was the breed judge. There was a breed entry of 83. This male was selected best of breed. And his exhibit number is 10872. Some authorities say that this breed arrived in Great Britain with the, with the Celts over 3,000 years ago. The cardigan is no way a Pembroke Corgi with a tail, although the two varieties come from common rootstock. Time has developed each breed to have obvious construction and coat differences. The cardigan is thought to be the older of the two varieties of Welsh Corgi, with a history going back to around 1200. The cardigan Welsh Corgi is also known as the yard dog, because the length from the top of the nose to the end of the outstretched tail is the measurement for a Welsh yard. That's the best of breed cardigan Welsh Corgi 10872. And finally, but by no means least, the last of our pastoral group breeds, the Pembroke Welsh Corgi. There was a breed entry of 158. This bitch was selected by Mrs. S. Harrison, the breed judge, for the best of breed. And her exhibit number is 11038. Ancient records indicate that the Pembroke Welsh Corgi has existed in Great Britain since at least AD 920. One story tells that the breed accompanied Flemish weavers brought to Great Britain by King Henry I of England. A favourite of our Queen, his prick ears and his loving features give him an appearance of being interested in everything that is happening. He has a bark which belies his small stature. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi is a thoroughly practical breed which can live with all sorts of households from paupers to royalty and a breed that will give a great deal of affection. That's the best of breed Pembroke Welsh Corgi, exhibit number 11038. And now that Mr Mallard has examined each of the pastoral group best of breeds, he re returns to the front of our line just to have a final look over each again to refresh his opinion before making his shortlist from the 30 pastoral breeds in the show ring here at Crafts 2007. Usually we end up with a shortlist of between 8 and 10, but that's completely down to our judge. Right, the short list will begin with the Australian Shepherd, the Bearded Collie, the Belgian Shepherd Dog Turveron, 
the Briard, the Ruff Collie, the Finnish Lapwund, the Hungarian Puli, and the Shetland Sheepdog. That gives us a short list of eight. And in fact, out come the Pembroke Welsh Corgi, making up a short list of nine. Can I ask you to show your appreciation to our other best of breed? Yes, our judges finished with them. To all our pastoral group best of breeds, congratulations on your success today here at Crufts 2007. So we have a short list of the Australian Shepherd, the Bearded Collie, the Belgian Shepherd Dog Terveren, the Briard, the Rough Collie, the Finnish Laphund, the Hungarian Puli, the Shetland Sheepdog, and the Pembroke Welsh Corgi. And as is the norm, I'm sure our judge, Mr. Stuart Mallard, will move each of those breeds again before making his final lineup and deciding on the winner of our group. Right, the first to be moved is the Australian Shepherd. Exhibit number 30008. And now the Bearded Collie. Exhibit number 8357. and the Belgian Shepherd Dog Terveren, 8717. And now we see the Briard, exhibit number 9148. And now the Rough Collie, 9242. Two. And next to be moved is the Finnish Laphund, exhibit number 9674. And now the Hungarian Puli, exhibit number 9827. And next to be moved, the Shetland Sheepdog, exhibit number 10697. And the ninth of our shortlist to be moved, the Pembroke Welsh Corgi, exhibit number 11038.
So just another quick look over the lineup of our shortlisted breeds before Mr. Mallard calls for the. In fact, I think we'll move them all again. Yep, round they go. A complete circuit of each of the ring. Led off by the Australian Shepherd. And the circuit of the ring by the Bearded Collie. And the Belgian Shepherd Dog Turveron. And around goes the Briard. And now we see the Rough Collie. And next to go around the ring is the Finnish Laphund. Followed by the Hungarian Puli. And around goes the Shetland Sheepdog. Followed by the Pembroke Welsh Corgi. Just another quick look down the line, and out come the award boards. So as the tension closes in, we're getting close to a decision. The winner of the pastoral group, Crufts 2007, is... It is the Bearded Collie, 8357. And group two, the Australian Shepherd, 30008. And pastoral group three, the Rough Collie. Nine two four two. And pastoral group four, the Hungarian Puli, nine two eight seven. A good hand for our other shortlisted breeds as they lose the group. If they leave the group, congratulations to you all. Successful in their breeds. And successful in the group here tonight by being shortlisted. So the winner of our pastoral group will receive the send vase for, and that will be presented by Mrs. Avril Jarvis, who is escorted into the ring by Mr. Eric Smethurst, Vice Chairman of Crufts. And again, while they make their presentations, I will just recap on our winner. The winner of the pastoral group Crufts 2007 is the Bearded Collie, 8357. Pastoral group 2. The Australian Shepherd, exhibit number 30008. Pastoral group three, the Rough Collie, exhibit number 9242. And pastoral group four, the Hungarian Puli, exhibit number 9827. Can I ask you to show your appreciation to our judge, Mr. Stuart Mallard? Can I just ask you to show your appreciation to our winners as they do their lap of honour. Round you go. Winner of the pastoral group, Crufts 2007, the Bearded Collie. Exhibit number 8357.